Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we reveal the Sidekick's new adventure bike, but there's a twist. Cue the intro. Well, I'm dead excited. The sidekick has given me a call, invited me down to his secret lair to basically show me and we can talk through his new motorcycle purchase. There's been lots of voting going on, so I'm dead excited. So I've got my little minions with me today. So I've jumped in the car and we're gonna go flying down to his secret lair and check out this bike. So we're on our way. So I, like I said, I've got my minions with me in, in the car. So the big question I'm going to ask them is, is what motorcycle do we think that the Sidekick has bought? What big brand? What do you reckon, Harvey? Well, it needs like a Triumph or something. Big, big, big bike. Big bike? Yeah. Triumph or something. Bike. Yeah. And Paige, what do you reckon? A uh, monkey bike. Oh, so we've got a big brand like a Triumph and we've got a Honda monkey bike. I think we're all going to be surprised by this one, I'm pretty sure of it. The Lord has arrived! I'm not here in clothes, go away! It's a bit rude, isn't it? It's a bit rude. You're not excited? What, see you? Yeah. Oh. I'm fed up with beating you. What have you come for? Well, you bought an adventure bike. Yeah. So I've come to this adventure bike. Now, just before we start, we've put up to the vote. So I hope you've bought the highest voted bike. No. Oh. So shall we start with, let's reveal what you've bought, and then we'll talk about it. Right, okay. So all you've got to say now is, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm going to show you... To be disappointed. ...the second... <laughs> Best motorcycle in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be disappointed. This is one of the worst motorcycles in the world. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you. Holding you till we forget it all How could I know there was no second chances Like dominoes, my life got really scattered You couldn't keep the door shut And now the frostbite's creeping in Cause I've been stone cold Since you left me here So come home Why won't you reappear? Things that I said Speak of the truth when it's tainted I fell into a big black hole <laughs> Well, I mean, let's be honest What's that? What's that? I mean It's my adventure bike You know we're going, yeah, you know we're going to Spain, right? And yeah. you know we're going to be going like, up mountains and things And uh, let's be honest Have you stolen it and you're stripping it right now? So you're removing all of the identity? No. It's definitely not stolen. Well, as far as I know, it's not stolen. Um, but no, I'm, try I'm trying to get it going. It was, it was cheap. I really hope, and I mean really hope, it was seriously cheap. But um, <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. Okay, so let's talk about why you've bought, let's be honest, something that looks like it's been in a crash and or you've picked it out of a ditch at the side of the road let's talk about why because it's got to have been cheap right right so when we originally spoke about me getting an adventure bike my funds my expectations were up here and the funds are all the way down there 
And obviously I've still not sold the Karen yet, so I had a little bit of money. And I was looking cheapest first. You say a little bit, but you're talking like 50p or a quid? A little bit more than that, but right, yeah. Okay. So the bikes, are, obviously I started off looking at Trans Alps, Tenere's, and I couldn't get anything. They were two grand and my budget is not that, okay? So then there was the Kawasaki's, the KLE's and KLR's, and then these Aprilia Pegasos kept coming up with MOT. You what, sorry, what did you say it was called? An Aprilia Pegaso. Pegaso? Isn't that, Pegaso. isn't that an omelette? <laughs> an omelette? You get in Spain. Is it? I don't know. Yeah, go on. <laughs> so these kept coming up, 1,500 quid, with a bit of MOT that were rough. So I thought, there's, there's, there's <laughs> rough. Hope, right? So this came up and it was cheap. It got no MOT. There's another little thing about it as well. But the bloke assured me that it ran, which clearly it didn't. Um, and it was 850 quid, right? And I was messaging him for about four or five days about it to do with it, bits and bobs. And he said, look, I've had an offer of 600 quid. You've been messaging me first. So I'm gonna offer it to you for that. So I thought, right, it's 600 quid. It's gotta be worth taking a chance. So I've paid 600 quid for this. It didn't look like this when I picked it up. All the fairings were loosely bolted on. So it looked like a complete bike. And I was assured it ran. Well, okay. So there's a couple of questions I want to ask. So first of all, did you get a V5 for this bike? Is it, you know, is it V5? Did it have an MOT? Is it on the road when you bought it? No. Do you mean it's not got any MOT? No MOT. Has it got V5? No. Has it got a number plate? No. So How do you know that this is a legit bike? Where's it from? This bike came in as an import from Spain and it's not yet been registered in this country. I have all the paperwork to support it being registered, which when I bought it, he'd assured me it ran and I was more interested in the fact it got the correct paperwork. So it got the correct paperwork, but I didn't hear it run because it was getting dark, I needed to get home, and I just thought, what could be wrong with it? So, as someone you don't know, you went out and met. Now, don't tell me this was like a dodgy garage somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, all these things where you go... Red, red you, flags. And, yeah, red flags that people say, don't go and buy a ga uh, anything from somebody at a council garage in the middle of nowhere, in the dark, late at night, on your own. Yeah, I did that. Okay, so, you've bought, basically... <laughs> you've gone... In the middle of nowhere, bought a bike you don't know that runs, promised it does run, that's not British, that's come from Spain, hopefully, and you've loaded it in your back, you've given the man the money. And, it, it, and just at any point, did you sit there and think, this sounds a bit dodgy? Yes, but what kept going through my head was, it's cheap, I can afford it at the minute. Okay. So... Well, let's talk about the positives, right? Okay, so uh, let's first of all start with. Take long. <laughs> well, all right, let's start with. Okay, so obviously I've got the, I've got Betty, the, the 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 channel's best adventure bike in the world, and that is a 500 cc, very capable, very good beast. And I've bought that knowing that it's Honda build quality. So have you bought something around the same cc engine? This is a 650. So have you just bought a 650 so you can beat me at every single race again? Yeah. That's rude, isn't it? So it's 650, well, it, it, it's 650 when it runs, yeah? Yeah, when, when, yeah it will run. Okay, That's and have you got adventure tyres? That's adventure-ish. It's better than mine, to be fair. Yeah, don't look at the back tyre, though. Let's have a look at the back tyre, then. Don't look at the back tyre. No, we'll have a look at the back tyre. Let's have a look at the back tyre. So, so that one's a little bit worn out. That's... Been on motorways. Well, it's been in Spain and cruising along, and well, now I sound chain. like I'm Borac instead. The chain and sprockets are good, they're new. You don't need some oil, mate. Yeah, but apart from that, that's a good bit. <laughs> well, let's talk about the plan then. So, obviously, you've stripped it down as well. Did it come like that, or was it actually bolted together? It was bolted together, it got a new starter motor in it, and it was struggling turning over. So, I've done some investigation and found out that the timing chain's jumping. <laughs> so, so it's a knackered? It's knackered, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, that's really rude of me. But so, you, so can we now race? No, not now. Well, you could push yours. 
I've got to wait. I've got to. I've got to sort. I'll sort, I'll sort it out one way or another. I've, so there's a couple of things I'm going to try doing for a cheap fix. If not, I've got somebody that's going to supply me another engine. You're not putting a race engine in it, yeah? No. Okay. That's... I'd be happy just with an engine that works. So when you got it, it was all bolted together. Loosely, it was all. Everything. Was what do you mean there. loosely? <laughs> Nothing was bolted on properly. Everything had the wrong bolts in it, where it had a bolt, so all the fairings are all loose, it had the wrong bolts in it, but that's loose, the tank hadn't got the proper bolts in, uh, so yeah, it needs a bit of work. I think we should race now, to be honest, I think that would be a really good idea. No. So the plan of it is then, is that you're going to, you've bought, you've been ripped off quite clearly, you've bought a bike that you thought was the best motorcycle in the world, well the second best because obviously I've got the first. You've got a bike with loose bolts, a knackered engine. It, I take it you've stripped it down since then. It, it, you didn't yeah, literally I, turn up and it was hanging out of an engine. You thought, this is a good buy. No, I took, I took, obviously I've taken all the fairings off because I thought, right, I'll put new bolts and stuff in there when I get it running. And then I started investigating the problem with the engine. And obviously now it's just got into a lot of bits. Are you going to work your magic? That's the thing. Are you? Is the, well, I I, 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 well, am I going to come back and it's going to basically be like ridiculously good? It will be better than it is. I'm going to one way or another. We'll get it running. We'll get it sorted, and it, and it will be on the road. Okay. Well, I wouldn't buy it because I wouldn't do any of that work because I'm lazy. And if I did it, eleven out of ten job, it'd be like brand new. Um, well, you've got a month because we went on an adventure, all right? Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> well there you go we have the sidekicks um um like broken um that's not really an adventure bike at the moment we have the sidekicks not crash damaged falling apart doesn't run broken bike everybody this was the least voted bike on the channel as well let's just put that out there this was like ridiculously like everybody thought you should have bought a honda monkey bike you turn around and said they're too good for me they're the best in the world and then on top of that basically um everyone voted that i think honda came first so everybody obviously knows that betty is just gorgeous and the thing is if you've got one then again we can still do that because frank spencer and, and betty this is gonna have to be called frank okay um frankenstein <laughs> So this is <laughs> this is going to be Frank, and then when you ride it, you have to go. Oh, Betty, Can that's just, plan. So another thing, this is actually BMW. I mean, you can't like yeah. you can't try and make it sound no. good because Aprilia made the early BMWs. They came the early BMW F six six fifties came out of the Aprilia factory. Yeah, a similar engine. This is actually a better engine than that had in it, and I've had an F six fifty GS before. It's exactly the same. So technically it's a BMW. So I'm, I'm going to claim it's a BMW, not the Aprilia. With Friday, Friday built BMW then. Is this what they did on Friday to made the Aprilias? No, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. Okay. Well, like I said, it's, it's an interesting machine, definitely. I'm looking forward to see what the sidekick does with it. It better not be better than mine because I will cry and probably push him over. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the sidekick's Aprilia BMW piece of poo. new bike is quite clearly going to have to have some work done to it so 
you know, he will do his 10 out of 10 job and I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And then he'll call me and I'll do my 11 out of 10 and make it into the second best adventure bike in the world. Obviously, Betty, the Honda CB500 channel adventure bike is the best in the world. So it's going to be an interesting one. We will obviously do a review. There'll be some videos on his Aprilia and we'll talk about the good and the bad things when that bike's done. But do you know what? As probably one of the most budgetest cheapest adventure bikes you can get your hands on at the minute will be an interesting story and journey and hopefully we can get those adventures underway as soon as he gets off of his butt and makes all that happen so i just want to say a massive thank you to all of the people that have bothered to subscribe to this channel i really appreciate it there is a bell button if you didn't mind hitting that bell button as well you will get the notifications when the videos go out and if you watch them what it means is is that youtube go all of the subscribers are watching that video that means that then they put it out to a new bunch of people that will go that is the most awesome thing i've ever seen in the world like it and subscribe and then it gets put out to another load of people and we become huge and big and fireworks go off and dancing girls do all this weird stuff and it's absolutely awesome so i'd really appreciate if you could do that i just want to say as well if you're interested in supporting this channel please please look at the patreon site we have an awesome team of patrons they get to do things like exclusive meetups they get to see the videos first and they also get their name in the credits of every single channel there's all sorts of um, tiers including one where you'll get a regular me uh, regular mention on this channel like hornet cb 2000 gallivan in. I really appreciate his support and I really appreciate all the patron support so if you possibly want to become a big supporter of this channel just literally go down and look at the patron link click on it sign up and you'll get to see the next video before anyone else and then the other point of it is if you're a company that are interested in sponsoring this channel there is even an option in the patron side where you can sponsor it what means you will get a receipt every single month for you to put through your books and I really appreciate anybody that's willing to support this channel you guys are awesome I want to grow we want to grow and there's a lot of plans going on in the future Talking about that, there is some interesting emails and things we've received recently. So there's going to be some really cool stuff coming up that I'm dead excited about and some big names as well. So happy days. So last but not least, there's only really now the most three important things in the world. And of course, that is eat pie, ride motorcycles, be happy. And I will see you in the next bonkers episode on Helmet Head. Bye bye for now. Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head, wish that I could let you go, remember all